It is a beautiful day here on the Mornington Peninsula in Australia, Victoria, Australia to be specific. And the very first spot on my tour of the Mornington Peninsula, as you can see, is Hawks Farm Store. Hawks Farm, it's a uh, spot that I saw on a website with a whole bunch of wonderful places to visit in and around the Mornington Peninsula. So I've got two weeks on my hands and I'm gonna try to uh, share some of the special spots of the Mornington Peninsula with you, starting here with Hawks Farm. Now they're gonna be closing pretty quickly, so let's, uh, let's go on inside and uh, let's go on inside and see what's, uh, what's available. All right, let's go. This looks like as good of any spot to start the tour here of the Hawks Farm. And it is close to closing time, but uh, I'll try to share with you as much of it as I can. Here you see some raised beds, and I see some signs that say this is a uh, it's a working farm. So you gotta you gotta be conscientious if you're bringing your kids. You know that there might be you know tractors running around and all that kind of stuff. But uh, boy, look at some of these good vegetables. Look at that. All right, so I may actually do myself a little, a little shopping here in the in the store. See what they see what they've got. Just as you come in, they've got both small and small and large succulents. And boy, I was when I was decorating my home back in Florida, I was looking all over for these things. Look at this. So here you can pick yourself up. Uh, just a variety of different different succulents. Those would be the small and then down here are gonna be the the larger the larger succulents. Look at that. And we'll go in here they've got some look like some little little baby lettuce. If you wanted to grow some some baby lettuce. And then over here they have I think this would be lavender right there very very nice I'm sure this is a place that's probably frequented by all the uh, all the locals probably come out just a small little small little farm stand you can get pick yourself some cayenne and Italian hot chili. You know, right there. Wonderful. And I saw a sign that you can actually go and pick. Uh, you can pick carrots and parrot, carrots and strawberries. There's some of the strawberries fresh off the fresh off the farm. Fantastic. Now come back. Uh, May actually, I'll be here for two weeks, and maybe I'll make it a point to to come back. Here you can see you can get just about everything here, and they sell. Uh, I think they sell produce from various various farmers in the area. Look at that rhubarb. Boy, my mom used to make rhubarb pie back in in Cleveland, whenever where I grew up, and that was one thing that I just didn't. Uh, one thing that I didn't like at all was the uh, was the rhubarb pie. Look at these beautiful carrots right here. All right, I'm gonna go find my uh, find my way out and see if I can't uh, share some of the other parts of the farm with you. I'm gonna take my drone up for a flight and fly my drone around the. Uh, the property and give you some nice views as well but let's go see if we can't find the uh, the strawberry and the carrot picking I found my way out back and I'm not quite sure where the uh, strawberry and the carrot picking is and I don't even know if they're actually doing it right now but nonetheless you can see uh, you can see there's Quite a bit of uh, well, there's quite a bit of stuff going on here. They don't uh, have it all planted right now, or maybe it's just kind of in between growing seasons. 
but this sure will make for some nice uh, make for some nice drone footage. I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did and uh, as you can see I'm learning to play with the drone a little bit and it was a uh, it was a wonderful visit so until the next stop here on the Mornington Peninsula as they say down here in uh, land down under good day mates All right. take uh, take good care